Hey everyone, it's Quinn, aka Salmo, and I want to talk about another Ryobi product, and it is my right angle drill. I do have two of them. I had this one first, and I was just trying to collect a lot of Ryobi tubes at one point, especially the things that I saw on their special buy, so I found this one half price at one of the Home Depot stores, and I bought it. And I use a drill a lot. So I've had this right angle drill, I would say over four years now. And I have used it a handful of times each year because it gets me out of a jam. And you use it just like your regular drill. And so I give you a little quick preview. So I just grabbed a bit out of my bin there. And all you do is insert your bit. I'm gonna drill a hole in a scrap piece of wood. But I wanted to demonstrate this too because it has gotten me out of a pickle a number of times. And when I say that, I will give you an example. So I built some flower boxes to go under my windows at my house on the front so I could put flowers up there. And so that box is long because it's for the window, but it's narrow. So as I built it, I screwed everything on the outside and it worked fine. But when I needed to do some work on the inside of it, I had very limited space. I only had six inches to work with. So if I took my regular drill like this, this is not gonna work in a six inch space. I did not have room to stick it inside of that firebox and work with. I could try to do some angles, but what I was doing, I wanted to do it on the inside. So, of course, I got my right angle drill, and all I had to do was put it on my Phillips head or star bit or whatever I was using. And this was small enough to go in that six inch space. So, it worked really well. But I still like it, even if I'm doing other projects, because I can hold it with one hand and I don't really have a problem using it. So, let's see how it works. I have to get a battery first, so hold on. So I got my battery, I'm gonna just snap it in at the bottom. When I wanna use it, I will press this trigger. But I need to make sure of the direction that my tool is going in. So I need to press this button based on if I need to go clockwise or counterclockwise. So I'm going clockwise so I can drill this hole. So I'm just gonna press this in so that the knob comes out to the left. And then I will just screw it into my piece of wood. Now I will caution if you're new to using drills because I started woodworking maybe seven years ago so I was new <laughs> so everybody has to start somewhere but a lot of people already know it just make sure that when you screw or turn your chuck key here your chuck make sure that your bit goes in straight because sometimes you might have it more to the left or right but it's centered now so let me go ahead and turn to my piece of wood Just have a little scrap piece of wood right here and we'll angle down and it has some purple spray paint on it because home depot used to sell their damaged wood or less desirable wood for 70 percent off and they would spray it or stamp it in purple as coal lumber and you would get a discount so i bought a lot of that wood in the past but to use it you just position it straight on top of your wood and press your trigger and it's going to make a hole for you. Now, if I wanted to screw something into it, I change out my bit from this drill bit here. And let's see. I have a little Phillips head right here. I can stick it in, tighten it up so it's tight, and I'm ready to screw. So let me find me a screw. So I have a little screw here. And I can just place this in that hole that I drilled previously. 
or I can start next to it. Now some screws you will need to pre-drill so it doesn't split your wood and so that you don't strip your screws. And I've done that quite often, especially early on. But sometimes I do it if I get impatient. So you want to make sure you have patience when you're working with your wood. But I'm going to screw it in the hole because I have this hole started. It isn't all the way through. Take my drill, line it up with my screw head, and then I'm just going to drill down. Well, screw down in this case. And now my screw is inside. But like I said, I love this thing, this right angle drill, because it has gotten me out of a crunch more than once. Because even with this bit here, you get one that's shorter, it will fit into those tight spaces that I need. So if you're interested in it, this is the Ryobi right angle drill. I do have another one that I found at the pawn shop here. And it's an older version. It actually has a couple more options than this one does. But like I said, this is handy. And if you're interested in it, it's called the Ryobi right angle drill. So thanks for joining me for this video. And I hope to see you in another one soon.